Well, kids, another bike ride to uh, Hiawatha. As you can tell, I got caught in a, a downpour. I still hear thunder, but got a bit of a clearing here. Well, I actually cycled nonstop up to the top of the second hill. Doing way better than yesterday. A little less heat, but the, the rain is really warm. Um, got the third hill to go. I'm just going to get some refreshments there. And eventually, with a couple more days or three more days of this, I'll be able to ride non-stop. Has nothing to do with the the body, the legs. My legs are fine. I can pedal this hill like nothing. These three hills like nothing. It's just the extra weight I'm carrying on my gut uh, is just affecting my lung power, my lung capacity. It's kind of pushing it out a little bit because I'm bent over the handlebars. Not enough to make me stop, that's for sure. But we do need to need to be careful. I'm no spring chicken anymore. I feel great. I'm carrying probably an extra 50 pounds of water now because I am absolutely soaked. It came down like crazy. I couldn't see squat. I have my lights on just to see the edge of the road. And most of it was a river. <laughs> like a river really like crazy. Oh, there's a thunder. So I may need some shelter before I get to Hiawatha. See you in the next stop. Well, we made it up the third hill. I don't know if I caught the video of that or not. The well, camera's a bit wet, so it might be screwing up. I moved my picnic table because I was over there yesterday. Oh no, there it is. I'm heading over. I like that one. Hard to see with my glasses all stained. Yeah, tree roots will make you go flying. That's how I knocked the teeth out of my head one time. There we go. Same little branch. I'm already soaked anyway, so it doesn't matter if I sit on a soaked table. I don't think I'm offending anybody. I hear the thunder. Yeah, years ago they had a big, big covered log uh, platform here. And uh, there were picnic tables under it. I'm not sure if that's it over there or... I don't know. It's been so many years since I sat under it. I may be heading there any second by the sound of the thunder. Years ago, there was three rides, I think. Three or four rides way over there along with um, you know, hot dog, potato chip, french fry, little section there. They had a merry-go-round, I believe a baby ferris wheel, and I forget what the third ride was. I, it, it could have been bumper cars. I've been trying to find pictures of that stuff because we used to come up here all the time. I forgot to mention that in yesterday's video because, well, quite frankly, I'm, I'm, uh, not too swift. So the mosquitoes are out to get me. I know I got a few bites yesterday. Makes you wonder how they ride in the uh, or fly in the rain. One one drop would probably drown them. Yeah, it's definitely getting lighter on one side and definitely darker on the other. So I may be stuck in the middle. So the bike's holding out. I got the lights on just so I don't get picked off. 
Um, the front tire is no good in here. It's a street tire. I like having grip on the back and street tires on the front for most of my riding. I switch out the front wheel, put knobbies on when I'm riding up here off-road quite a bit. It gets more grip. Some of the trails have sawdust on them and regular tire bikes just sink in there. So I feel good. The third hill was still still not where I'm normally at for riding it but I got up I had a little bit of trouble chain shifting there. It's hard to shift on when you're when you're under tension meaning you're up the hill going up the hill so the chain almost bound on me but uh, uh, I just relaxed it with the shifter and it and it uh, was no problem but sometimes the chain will either fly off or miss a gear totally and uh, you end up um, in a pickle to say the least but traffic's a little lighter today and uh, the rain is a little heavier I can hear it it's going to be coming my way I think thunder is definitely moving over my left shoulder brightness is coming straight on so we'll see I might just be in some little eye of the of the whatever storm some people said it was supposed to rain all day today but right now right, right here is no rain anyway it's gonna have a little beverage and relax I'm gonna go up the road some more I'm gonna ride all the way out to the highway today and I'm not going on the highway because if you want to die go on the highway when it's raining that's a good way to end your life I'm not ready for that but there's a nice creek up there um, I, I might go down to that and just have a look around but um, some people said the bears are out here pretty good today so I don't know why but this rain brings them out so I'm not going to get uh, too deep in the woods today it's only me out here right now I don't see anybody else so all right okay kids we're past farmer Bob's near my friend Michelle's house it's cleared up a little more wind now though unfortunately trails are saturated no good with this front tire on my bike The problem with the street tire is you hit a tree root that's wet, you're done for because I know from experience I'm missing the teeth in the top part of my head from losing it on a hill, going downhill at Fort Creek, hit a tree face first and all that good stuff. So now you got to be careful with tree roots. Even with the knobby tires you can still slide it off. With some slippery tree root in the rain and Fort Creek had clay up there it made it even worse yeah well, I was in the pretty sight right now it's beautiful the wind is a bit annoying but not too bad heading out to highway 17 in here it's beautiful looks like it's getting dark over here again might be out running a storm again I use that term out running loosely because I got caught in the first one like I am soaked you know how hard it is to ride a bike in soaked shorts and underwear not good. Not to mention the sound. It's kind of squishy. Uh, it looks not too bad here. Maybe it will clear up.
up here and turn around a little bit. It's a little dark over there, but I don't have much choice. I'm kind of kind of live over that way, so I may be drowned again. Have a little pit stop here. Uh, my discs are a little bit wet. That's not good. Water is so down everywhere. <sighs> I am soaked. Yeah, you definitely could feel that riding the hill. It's pants and shirt. This shirt is heavy, heavy right now. Oof. We don't want to wring it out. We don't want to scare people terrorize the animals seeing my naked body wringing out a shirt so oh we got a big raindrop on my go on my lens let's see if I can get that off now I don't know if I got clean tissue in here or not well I don't know it's not looking too good I don't have to dry anything around here. Everything is soaked. Yep, nothing. So we're looking through a blur, I guess. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway, I was going to have a little beverage. Got to watch the cars won't pick me off here. Okay, we're going to have the camera on for the whole ride. Back down to... Uh, Case Road area there. Hopefully it stays in position. Actually, you know what? I'm going to mount it. I'm going to mount it because uh, it's too hard to hold while I'm doing this. It's starting to rain again. Yeah, I think we're going. So we just got off the highway there area. Road sucks, by the way. Horrible in here. Yeah, it definitely looks dark.
definitely cooler. dropped. Oof, feels like at least five, eight degrees. I don't like cold. This camera's not staying in place. is definitely up. Definitely colder. All that within a few minutes. Crazy. Temperature change between warm and cold and rain is not good. the road now being slippery especially with the tire I have on the front I haven't had a lot of rain with the oil on the road from cars and wipe out pretty easy
my time here because the road is horrible. I don't feel like killing myself. Normally I fly down here like crazy, but I'm a little fat and I don't feel like bouncing, so. and I get rain in my glasses. Can't see anything. Can't see nothing. Glasses are all glasses are all mucked up. Camera 
one's mucked up. Yeah. Oh well. I'll have to clean that at home. Sorry I look so smudgy. I don't look this smudgy in real life. Yeah, sky's dark over there. Nothing to drive the glasses with. Oh well. So the water is up just from that rain from yesterday. Pretty crazy. And we'll get home before the the next uh, batch of ugliness starts to fall from the sky. Okay, I'll try and film from the road, but the new blacked her road but it's dangerous so just gotta keep my my focus. See you later. Little horsies. I always love this little area. My wife's always petting the animals. A little nostalgia here. is a 1970s Vega with a V8 in it and uh, years ago when I was young I was gonna buy it off the guy but uh, he changed his mind so all those cars are landfill now but that blue Vega was in there at the bottom of this gully it's probably covered in dirt now but there's probably five or six other old cars from the 50s and 60s in there too, so they're probably buried. Okay, here we go.